Hello. We're starting the series here. And with somebody new. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello there. Um, I'm Pun and Otter. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, yes, this is my friend Otter. We might be able to call you Otter. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't mind. A lot of Otter. people call me Otter. A lot of people call me Punnin. Some people call me Pun. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're going by nicknames, you know. Yeah. Anyway, we're starting a new series. And it's one that my that I got my friend into. Really quickly, she posted this in the middle of the chat. I was like, huh, the name is kind of off-putting. And then I, then I saw one of my friends playing it, and I was like, this is actually pretty good. Yes, so today we're going to be making a series. Super lesbian animal RPG we're playing today. Or Slurp. Or Slurp PG. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Over 1,000 years ago, the goddess Fortuna granted the mortals of her planet the gift of magic. Hell yeah. The single act of kindness forever changed the course of history. Alright. Now able to harness the art of the gods, the mortals flourished in this new arcane era. This reminds me of that scene in Arcane where like they got all this advancement. It kind of looks the same with all the like blimps and shit. I, to be honest, I didn't watch Arcane. It's really good. I've heard. Grand cities powered by magic were built. Plagues were cured. The lands were connected by new means of transport. Mm. Centuries later, people have grown accustomed to their fantastical reality. Magic now coexists with modern technology as a part of everyday life. But even today, many young people still find themselves chasing dreams of fame, glory, a moderate financial stability, with the help of magic. These people seek to become adventurers. Oh, I gotta go pay my magic bills. To be honest, a magic school sounds like it would be expensive. I mean, university is already expensive enough. Mm -hmm. Imagine a magic university. Imagine a magic university where there's like an extra class where it's like Magic 101 or something. Or private magic schools. And you have to do the constant tr uh, training. Okay. Mm -hmm. You gotta work all that bullshit, you gotta get the, you know, the skills. Yeah, you have to train for years. There we are, in the woods. Okay, so who are we voicing? Uh, I guess I'll be Melody, you can be Allison if you want. Alright. Hey, what if we met a dragon or something? That'd be pretty cool. Surely we've already met a dragon at some point. What about back in high school? Wasn't one of our classmates a dragon? Are you thinking of Josh? It's an armadillo lizard, not a dragon. Oh yeah. What about you though? Anything you want to do as an adventure? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's what I would say to be honest. <laughs> Guess I haven't thought that far ahead. Mm. Hey, be honest with me, Mel. Aren't you still down? Are you still down for this adventure skill thing with Clara and Jody? Well, you're still excited, right? This is a great opportunity for you. You know, I'm pumped and I'm grateful that you want to support me, but this is a huge undertaking for you, too. I mean, of course I'm nervous. And yeah, our lack of tangible progress so far hasn't been the biggest confidence booster. But we're doing it together, right? At the end of the day, I think that makes it worth trying. That's the spirit. I'll be the coolest fighting green, uh, duo of Green Ridge I've ever seen. And man, how lucky am I to have such a cute adventuring partner. Oh, stop. Get a room. <laughs> Voice. Your faces. Get a room, you two. <laughs> I guess I'll play them. Who's there? Weren't you in the middle of something important? Oh, duh. Come on, Mel. Let's finish this little treasure hunt. Let's see. The next clue is to travel north until you find a spot with two paths cross. And you finally have control. Oh, it's an X. I think this is it. Nice work, Mel. Well, I mean, this is less two paths. Uh, this is less two paths crossing and more like a big X someone made with dirt. But this is probably it. 
Now let's see, the next clue is... From there, search for the lonely tree. Okay. I'm gonna change the settings in a bit so that the text doesn't go too loud. This looks like the loneliest tree out there. Out here. One is the loneliest tree. I don't know, it doesn't look too lonely to me. Yeah, it feels like that's just projecting our expectations for how it should feel. Please use the out-of-pocket comments about the quality of the clues. <laughs> Man, I love the dialogue. Now, let's... <laughs> oh wait, I think I see something up ahead. Let's go. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot, I, I need to like, enable sprinting when I can. Oh my god! <laughs> For your final test, you must use your wits to discern the identity of the one who has summoned you here. Claire, what are you doing? Oh, come on, was it really that obvious? Goes with slide directions for a scavenger hunt under my door this late at night. Should I change my voice for these two characters? I probably think I should. <clears throat> okay, true. So what exactly was the point of this? Is this more training or something? Yes and no. I needed to get you in an adventurous mood to prepare you for what happens next. Now, our guild missions over these last few months have been less than optimal. Yeah, we know. But what if I told you I have something that could change that? Now to begin the dark ritual. Sacrifice! Sacrifice! <laughs> what I have here is... Oh shit. Pig! Oh, sweet. We're gonna be having pork tonight. Behemoth boar attacks. Okay, um... I attack. Uh, what do you want to do? Attack. You, you don't have to, uh, ask me to, uh... I mean, I don't know, I want to get, like, in the character of things, you know? The Mikiza Boar chomps down an elephant's cheap sword, shattering it. Ah, uh, crap. Just keep slicing it until it dies. Oh. Get out of here, you! Allison, are you hurt? I've survived worse. I'm just glad you're okay. So that wasn't part of the plan. But I'm impressed by what I just saw. What, me getting my butt kicked yet again? A lot of people would have given up after so many setbacks. But not you two. Your hearts are in the right place, and you're willing to put up in the work. You just need the power to back it up. Which is why I have this. Sacrifice! Sacrifice! Sacrifice. This book contains a sacred ritual passed down to us by Fortuna, the goddess of magic herself. It also has an absurd amount of magical energy, which I think is what attracted that monster just now. Whoa, where did you get that? I found it while exploring. So, as the story goes, when Fortuna first taught magic to us mortals way back when, nobody had the training required to cast spells. But instead of giving up on us, Fortuna came up with a ritual to awaken her acolyte's latent magic abilities. And I just so happen to have the instructions for that right here. It won't give you the powers of a goddess, and you'll still need a lot of practice. But it will give you a running start. You just have to answer a few questions for me. What do you say? Is this cheating? Is it really fair to just get magic powers for free? People work hard for those. I mean it's not free. You'll still have to work very, very hard to figure out how to do anything with your new mana. What's really unfair is the thought of you two being left in the dust just because you didn't have your whole lives planned out at age 14. I mean, come on. You probably wouldn't have started training years ago if you knew adventuring wasn't a pipe dream. This is just a nudge in the right direction to make up for lost time. Okay, when you put it like that, that sounds just what we needed. Well, if Mel's in, then I'm in. Excellent. Let's start with you, Melody. Why do you want to be an adventurer? Well, Allison wants to join you and Jody and your guild, but she knows it'd be worried sick if she ran off without me. So I thought, well, I'm not really doing anything with my life. Maybe I could go with her and look for her, try to keep her safe. I see. I'm not the best fighter, so I think I'd be more useful if I had healing magic. I mean, I've tried being the healer, but without magic, all I can really do is hound out potions. And I don't want to keep being the team water girl. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I assumed as much. You'd make a great cleric. Well, not quite. I was thinking I'd rather be... a paladin. Really? Like a noble crusader with a code of honor and all that jazz? You sure? 
I've been reading up on my options a lot, and well, I don't know. I just like the sound of it. You don't sound all that confident in your choice. No, this is what I want, I'm sure of it. That's better. And you, Allison? You know me, adventuring's in my blood. I just want to fight, uh, want to be strong and fight monsters. Really? Care to be a little bit more specific? Even monsters would be preferable. I don't have any reason to fight nice monsters. Okay, smartass, but if that's all you're gonna give me to work with, you don't complain if you think your powers suck. No promises. Great, now let's begin the ritual. Now you just need to put a bit of blood here. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh dear. Relax, it's just a little spell. I just need some blood. I have the knife. I'm following the instructions to the letter. Is this dangerous? Oh, absolutely. Oh shit. Where am I? Melody, are you still with us? Can you hear me? Huh? Oh yes, I can hear you, Claire. Yeah, I heard there for a second. Dead. She can see what you're seeing. What were your consciousness right now? I'm tripping balls! <laughs> I feel really high right now, I see stars. I'm seeing moons and stars, I can see the universe. Anyway, Allison didn't even just need as much magic, so she's already there. But I've still got a few final memories to make things really. I can just sit around and play away. Alright. This reminded me of when I played, like, One Shot. Mm. Now that's a nice game. Little shrubs, little pink shrubs, look at you. Hello, mysterious shadow creature. Claire? There's some kind of shadowy figure watching me here? Is this normal? Huh? Oh, I don't know, maybe. I've never experienced this myself, but my mind will be there. Uh, hello? Goodbye. It just disappeared! See, it's fine. It's fine, I'm sure it's more scary than anymore. Definitely not any form of foreshadowing. It isn't- it was not indeed fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go through these trees now. Okay, no, I have one last question to ask you before you read. Please, Richard. A whole lot of magic ball. Eh. Fuck. A whole lot of magic power is currently being tapped into, and we didn't want to focus that. You wanna be a paladin, and paladins to start having a thought on faith. I'm not really all that religious. It doesn't have to be religious. Let's just try having a good life. My power is derived from my faith and... Friendship. <laughs> I did notice that out of the three choices, this does change a few dialogue. Oh, shit. Mm, I, I, I was resolute paladin. I don't know what, what, what one is that. This is the woodland one. And this one is like the love one. The last one is resolute. Oh, yeah. I think I chose that one, too. Well, I uh, I appreciate nature. I like living out in the woods, after all. That's a little spiritual, right? Did you rephrase that to the word faith? I have faith in nature. I mean, that ecosystem it sure is going. <laughs> I guess I think that most things in nature are part of nature. It's borrowed from that. I sure is. Dorley's the path of the wooden paladin, straightened by the faith in Mother Nature. She's this path. I'm still deciding. What about? The power of love? That's the easiest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Yeah, I know. But it could work. Especially with how it's separate from these two are. If this thing makes sense for me, I might be. If you're really good at this volume, you're around a hundred years or two, you're probably going to be far harder. I don't see you two breaking up, but even if you did, you still use influence with the product that does the power source. It's like a symbiotic system. Well, okay, maybe that's helpful as I'm doing. Yeah, whatever. Give me your love. <laughs> Give it to me now. I need your power. This story leads to the path of an immersed paladin, straightened by the faith and the power of love. Choose this path. I'm still deciding. Would faith in my own abilities count? What? Well, I feel like I'm kind of a natural healer. It just feels right. If it can be any faith, then it should could just be my faith in my ability to heal. You're telling me that you want to leave so far that you have magic to heal. That the belief gives you the arcane copy that actually has given you spells, which would in turn prove that the belief right, like some sort of kind of self esteem or aura. Is that what you're saying? Well, I, uh. I mean, this is a hell of a thing, but it's not that simple. No, they help me out with that. I probably would have been a bad thing if I didn't find my belief in that. Not only because she's brought me medicine, I just think I'm gonna run out. We also have to do things in this game. I mean, you always see them with me, right? Just do set up with some magic or whatever. Fine, if this is what you really want, I guess it's a good word. I believe in 
you're hyped that much, I am the hype. I am the healer. <laughs> the story leads to the path of a resolute paladin, straightened by sheer force of will and a faith in, his, in one's own abilities. Choose this path. Mm, I don't know. Like, what do you think we should do? Well, we've both seen resolute. So should we choose a different path? We probably should. Mm, I'm thinking more of like the power of love. The power of love. The power of love. <laughs> And with that, the choice was made. Slurpy G. <laughs> Act 1. Alright. Several weeks later. Wow, I actually almost looked the part. Not bad for a couple things I had in my closet and a few pieces of cheap gear off the internet. I know, I know the feeling, girl. <laughs> I've made my own cosplay before. <laughs> Her name is Melody Amaranth. Her timid fox who lives near a small town of Greenridge, of, on the scenic Sapphire Islands. She lived a quiet life with, uh, ambition, with few ambitions in high school. Mostly content to let yourself go so long on out. But you always felt that something was missing. A few months ago, something finally clicked, and you came to two important realizations about yourself. One, you're deeply in love with your adventurous best friend, Alice and Galena. And you probably have been for a long time. Smoochies. As it turns out, mm. the feelings was mutual. Yay. And two, if Allison has her set on becoming an adventure, then maybe you could join her. As a healer. Hell yeah, bro. Okay, enough holding up in my house. I read all the material Claire gave me and ran through my mana management exercises a thousand times. I think it's finally time to head into town and show everyone what I've learned. Okay, first of all, let me do some quick adjustments to the volume. Also, I think this is one of the few RPGs that I've seen where you start off as a healer. Yeah. Most, like, most healers are shafted to the wayside in favor of other stuff. Yeah, this is one of the few games that I've seen actually give a lot of love to, like, support classes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, there's some just stuff here. Anyway, let's end it off the first episode here. Alright, do you have anything to say? Well, I'm looking forward to the rest of this uh, playthrough. I've really enjoyed this game uh, from what I've played, and I played a fair amount of this game, so. Oh yeah, definitely. I haven't even finished it yet, but you, um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Anyway, let's end this off here. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye!